Okay, this is a quick tutorial on using personalized content in Google Maps. Basically, what this allows you to do is create your own uh, points, points of interest and your own map overlays for uh, different areas that may be on the map. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to maps.google.com and then once you get there, you need to find the area that you want to highlight and uh, zoom into that area and then click on the my maps tab and you gotta have a Google account to do this so you should be signed in already uh, to Google and then uh, go to the maps.google.com and sign in or go there and then sign in uh, whatever your preference you know click on uh, add new map and when you do that you're going to have a few extra tools here at the top draw a shape draw a line add a place mark um, or you can select and edit map features. So I'm going to add um, a polygon, a shape on there to highlight an area. I'm just going to call this area the boonies and there's a title description area over here. And then I'm going to click on the beginning point where I want to start my overlay and then I'm just gonna cl keep clicking points until I come back to where I started and define the shape and then I'm just gonna give this a title and you can also do this in HTML if you want to add images uh, you just have to know the HTML to be able to add an image or remote image so it's got a lot of possibilities from that. You can click on the color and define the fill color. So if you want it to be, say, green, and you don't want it to be so bright, maybe about uh, 25%. And you can also define the line opacity. I'm going to make this a little darker. And I'm going to make the line a little bigger. And I'm going to change the line color to red in this case. And I don't really like green because that seems to contrast so I'm gonna go with uh, how about this yellow here that looks good okay so it's basically as easy as that to create a shape so this is the shape I've created here once you create your shape just click Save and your map is saved so if you want to email it you can email the link to somebody else uh, you just gotta make sure that it's a public map uh, when you do that and uh, you can also copy and paste the link and uh, send that to anybody. And you can create multiple shapes.